Hello, this is Harmonfall, and welcome back to some more Blinks the Time Sweeper. In the last episode, we got through the last few stages of Forgotten City, as well as the first stage of this new area, Temple of Lost Time. In this episode, let's get on with stage two. So we've got this trash over here that we can sweep up. As well as an octa balloon we can shoot. Also, that was what the sound was in episode two when you press that button in either round. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it was round one. It sounded like that, and that was the princess. So another difference between this version and the Platinum Hits version is that there would be a Molgon over here if you were playing the Platinum Hits version. You could have gotten... it's possible to get that without being blown up, which should probably be expected, but I did not do it too well there. Um, there we go. And you can either use pause for this trap, or you could just do that. Either way works. Sorry, Mike Bell there. And now you've got another one of these guys. Just take out the Tom Tom Biker, it's pretty easy. Especially since they gave you some large trash. And in here they got some time crystals. Some slow and specific. So, I'm recording this after shoveling a lot after Blizzard Nemo. I, th I thought there was a cat metal there. Apparently not. So I had to shovel quite a lot of snow. I don't want to use my large trash there. There's also another Chrono Blob that's normally over there. You'll want to time that one properly. Although I'm not sure if that really benefits you in any way though. Other than as an extra area to go to. I just heard an enemy getting hit. I'm not sure what that was. I feel like I can get this without rewinding, but... If not, I just wasted time. Yeah, I think I can get this without rewinding. That's a little bit of a trick that I just thought of, but... Only work. Yeah, then you're back over here. Wait, what? I don't even know what I just. how I just did that, but okay. I'm not complaining. Biker. Right here is a record puzzle, as you could definitely guess. Just wipe out the enemies there. And also, here, if you don't have a record, then you'll need to rely on... ...these extra crystals, as well as the crystals that the enemies drop. 
which could be a problem because not everyone can really have it. Now, this cat metal is definitely hard to get. In fact, I have no idea how to do it myself. Okay, there we go. So, now as usual, just stand, just use record, jump on the button, and just let it hold. So shoveling the snow in after the blizzard, that was about two feet of snow and I shoveled enough so that a car can pass through. So my back is pretty much aching a lot right now. But I just, and since I felt in the mood of recording, I might as well. Oh yeah, you could just shoot. I never showed that. If, say, a duster or an octoballoon is shooting trash at you, then you can shoot at them mid sh in the middle of their attack so that you can counter it. Want to grab the dust turtle ball? And down there is the last cat metal. Before I go on, I think I might want to rewind. Possibly a slow too, but there aren't enough crystals, so oh well. I remember this one. To get to it, you, you need to pretty much redo the entire level. Dodge that. I want to use my extra... I want to use my large trash on the dust turret. Well, on the golem. There it is. I'm not sure what just happened there, but okay. This is what you'll need to do to get the last cat metal. You'll need to restock on as much trash as you can. So that you don't have to do it later. And jump down when the timing is right. Not like that. This cat metal is just cool. Because it relies on prediction and luck. Two things that you don't normally need in this game. And there's also a chance that we'll be coming up on that time limit that I was talking about before. Okay, I am not doing too well right now. I really need to hurry up though. What was that? I'm pretty sure that I was able to get it through there. Okay, there we go. You can either use a pause or a slow there and... I would pretty much recommend a pause because then you can actually get across. I would recommend a slow because if it's not in a good position, then it's not impossible to get back across. Especially if you didn't... Especially if you got the cat metal before using that one trick I showed you. 
I've never actually really experimented with this game, believe it or not. I've always played it like it's supposed to be. So now that we're pretty much gotten through all of that, let me wait for the platform to come up so I'm not just jumping into a random spot. And we're back over here. And now we just need to jump in. And time sweep complete. Just skip through it like normal. And now let's check our gallery. That reminds me, I think we're gonna be getting prize two soon. No, we're definitely getting prize two soon. I'm not sure why, but the microphone isn't exactly registering as loudly as it normally does, so I think I'm starting to yell. Not sure why, though, since everything else is normal. Oh yeah, I remember this level. This level is pretty much the first level that's really a pain in the ass for me. But they give you with a fair amount of free trash, so... Eh, not bad. Okay, where is that Octoloon? I don't remember. Oh, I did not see that coming. I've almost died. Which would be a first for this series so far. Jump there. I need to get a retry really badly. Proper retry? No, crystals. I seem to be neglecting retries a lot in this video. Well, in the series. Despite pretty much being your life. I don't remember where many of the cat medals are in this level, but I'll find out as I go along. Make sure you hit this button. It is important much later on. And sometimes I forget it. The spikes up there is really just a quick shortcut, so no need to worry about there being a cat medal behind it. room filled with enemies. There's a retry part there, but I don't really want to pick it up, considering I would rather have two retries instead of one. Eh, might as well pick up another slow. there are any cat bones up there. No, if there was, then I'd be able to see them from here. I think I'm just gonna leave that dust turtle ball there, even though money is pretty important in this game. That 
that can be cruel. So don't push the button before you have wiped out every single enemy in this level. Well, in this room. Or if you're using a retry and won't actually be able to be hit. I think I might have used a dust turtle ball. Wait. No, I did not. I'll need to grab a pause over here. It's also recommended that you grab any extra trash because there was that one. There was that one treasure chest back there. For the select few of you that actually watch me, I want to know what I can do to improve myself, or any topics that you'd like to hear me talk about. Because rambling on the game is pretty boring. Down here, just run up a little to quickly activate that. I remember that you'll want to rewind. I'm not sure why yet, but try to pick one up. here. Make sure to pick that up, because it's pretty easy to get, but it's also at the same time pretty easy to miss. If you're wondering why that one platform isn't going in and out, that's because this room here. And I just wasted one of my large trashes. A piece of my large trash. Crap, I don't have a second. I shouldn't be complaining about not having a second why that's fine. I should be complaining about not having a second pause. I see two pause crystals in there, but that's not enough for me. Are there any pause crystals down there I can grab? There probably are. Okay, yeah, there's definitely one. I'll grab one fast-forward crystal here. And then I'll run back up so I can continue talking with not so interesting commentary. That was pretty close. I don't want to do that again. So every episode will pretty, pretty much contain either two levels or three. Either two or three levels, depending on how many, how long each level takes, or if I have a boss to battle. And I've noticed that I'm starting to get pretty close to the time limit a lot. And by time limit, I don't mean YouTube time limit, but the game's limit. Good, I got that. That is pretty important. Cat mills there, large trash as well. Make sure you have two pauses, otherwise you're trapped in this room. Well, technically you could get out with a fast forward boost, with a fast forward protection or a rewind, but that's beside the point. It's pretty much impossible to get onto this platform without getting a crystal. So, I 
feel like I remember one of these. Remember something? Right. I'm not sure what I remember. But I feel like one of the cat medals can be found underneath. Here, make sure that you have a slow or a pause handy. Slow allows you to progress faster, so I I'm getting really close to the time limit now. I need to act quickly. Shit. Good. I wanted to use a retry there because if I had to run all the way back up, then I would have lost that level. I would have lost the I would have lost easily. I am not doing well right now. In fact, I'm doing really badly. Okay, that's better. Much better. Never mind! I'm dead again! I normally don't have this much trouble. I'm not sure why I'm... Why this is going on now. Okay, that was pretty lucky. Right now, I don't want that to try and kill me. Alright. This is actually a great time to wait around a little to show you what happens if you get way too close to 10 minutes. I missed a cat, but that's a problem. That timer up there starts once you're getting 30, once you're 30 seconds away from 10 minutes, so once that runs out, it's time over. And now let's start on the boss. I'm pretty sure that we have... I feel like we have time for that. Yeah, I missed a cat medal somewhere. That'll be covered in a later episode. We do not have time for a boss, so I'll see you guys later when we take on the boss of Temple of Lost Time. See you then.